Hello, welcome to Nana's Journey. I'm Deanna, and today we are going to start installment three, part one of the Brimming Over quilt. That's this quilt right here. This is the installment three section, although it also includes these pinwheels and checkerboards. They forgot to highlight that part. Um, there are a lot of pinwheels and checkerboards throughout. So I'm just going to make them all today and do those ahead of time. And we are also going to do this star. So we've got pinwheels, checkerboards, and the star. And I've already got these. This is what the checkerboard is going to look like. I've got all my pieces cut out. These are the half square triangles for the pinwheels and I've already marked them with my half square ruler drew a line down each side I will sew on those lines and then we will cut in between and when I press it open I will have two half square triangles you can also just draw a line or sew from corner to corner um, well on a quarter inch on each side of the center and do it that way so let me get started with the half square triangles. Um, I'm just going to put enough together to do one and I will put this together and then I will do the rest of that offline. So let's get over to the sewing machine. Okay, I'm going to start with these two units will give me four half square triangles which is what you need to make a pinwheel. So I'm just going to chain stitch these. And that'll give us our four half square triangles. I'm going to get these pressed and trimmed and I'll be right back. Okay, I have them pressed and trimmed, and this is how they're going to go together. So I'm just going to lay them like this, and these were pressed towards the darker fabric, so they will um, nest in that center seam there. Okay, I just pressed to the one that had the dark side. We'll put those together. Is that right? Dun, 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 dun. It looks right. Okay. So now these will nest. And there we've got our pinwheel block. Now for these, since I've already got them laid out, I'm just going to sew, I'm going to sew the pairs together and then we'll go from there. Okay, I've got the pairs pressed open, so now I'm going to put these into pairs, all the rest into pairs, and then I will add this pair to this pair, and then I will put the rows together.
So now it looks like this, and I will put these together. Okay, let me get these pressed. I'll pin them together, and then we'll sew the rows together. Okay, I've nested the seams, and now we'll sew them together. Okay, so we've done our pinwheel and we've done our checkerboard. This one was um, three by eight. There's two other blocks and they're different sizes. Um, I don't remember what they are. I'll show you at the end. Now for the star, we've got a square in the square unit. Um, I will just take the triangles line them up like this, do one on the opposite sides. After I sew, I'll press it open, and then I will do the same with the other two on the other two opposite sides, and we will have our square in the square unit. We have some half square triangles um, that we'll do the same way we just did for the pinwheels. We've got a few plain blocks, and then we are going to do two different flying geese. We're going to use the four to time method. She does not use the four to time method in her pattern. She uses the folded corners. I like doing the four to time method and instead of marking I ironed it. I kind of like that better. So let me get started sewing these and we will get this block put together. There's our square in the square unit. Okay, the half square triangles are pressed to the dark side and trimmed. So we, I think we have eight of those for the four at a time flying geese. Put these right sides together. You put both squares on diagonally. And this time I'm just going to sew a quarter inch on each side. Okay, that was not a quarter of an inch, so I'm going to mark these and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got this marked and we'll try that again. I should have chain stitched these. Okay, now that we have our squared hearts, we will put our other one right here.
Okay, I have the flying geese pressed and trimmed. Now we will start putting the block together. We're going to take this square and a square and take this flying geese and pin it one to each side, opposite sides. I'm going to attempt to make the points match. I'm going to press these open because this is a lot of fabric right here. But first, I'm going to take this one and sew it here. And these ones will get pressed to this side. So open and then in. I think uh, I'm going to add, put these together while I'm at it. Okay, next I'm going to put these corner units together, attach these, these, and then we'll put the rows together. Okay, I pressed away from the half square triangles, so now these will nest. Okay, now we've got the unit sewn together, we're going to sew this together in a row. Okay, now we're going to attach these to each side of the star. Okay, here we have our block finished, our checkerboards. There's two pieces, a three by five and a three by eight. And I also did the ones for installment four. That was a three by 12. And installment five was a three by 11. And for the pinwheels, for installment three, there was seven of them. 
for installment four, there was four, and for installment five, there was five. So I have a head start on those two installments. And I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Nana's Journey.